How's it going everyone? I'm Insanin, and today I'm starting a new series where I go over my favorite action scenes in Blam. I plan on doing this for Sutoma Nihei's other works, as well as some of my other favorite manga. We're starting the series off with a banger, as it is the first time Sonicon's true intentions are revealed, and it takes place during log 15 and 16 of the story. Alright, let's get to it. Having collapsed following a nanobody infection in the previous battle from an unknown safeguard, Kiri awakens to the new ability to read the display overlaying his vision. Soon after this, he reunites with Sibo and the Electrofishers who saved him, but he senses something about the mysterious girl named Sonicon they have recently come across. As he tries to scan her, he is denied access. This alarms Kiri, leading him to take a closer look. Upon further investigation, he learns that the little girl is actually a safeguard. The realization fills him with anxiety, but the villagers are none the wiser. He yells, get down, and tries to warn the villagers, but it's too late. Sonicon grins, fully aware that she's been found out, and before Kiri can do anything, the arm of the villager, previously petting her, goes flying. Sonicon drops her disguise and simply says, the safeguards will now remove you, the illegal residents who do not possess the net terminal gene. As her body starts to transform, Kiri draws his weapon but the blast of the transformation is too much and blows everyone back. As the dust settles, a beautiful two-page spread showcasing Sonicon in her true form is revealed. Bystanders caught in the blast smash into the surrounding buildings and Sibo warns Kiri of using his own Graviton beam emitter due to Toha Heavy Industries being nearby. Our two players face off, but before Kiri can make his move, Sonicon sends out a volley of nanobody injecting needles. They pierce the heads of some unlucky villagers, who immediately start to transform into exterminators. Suzuzo yells at Zuru to get down and pushes her out of the way of danger. A scene of horror and madness unfolds as person after person is turned into hostile entities. It doesn't take long for the full transformation to be completed, and soon after the newly formed exterminators charge toward the villagers. Kiri sights a girl in harm's way and throws her to the side. Meanwhile, Sutozo does all he can to protect Zuru, while the rest of the villagers are thrown into panic. Sonicon looks up to take aim at the villagers. Kiri sees this as he disarms an exterminator and immediately runs towards Sonicon. He tackles her, which sends them both over the edge. They land hard on the level below, and Sonicon immediately kicks Kiri back. He smashes into a wall, making a giant hole in the process. He looks up to see Sonicon incoming and tries to recover. She blasts in while Kiri draws his gun, but Sonicon swiftly slaps it out of his hand. Kiri looks on in hopelessness as the gun disappears into the darkness. Sonicon follows up with a blow to the midsection. Kiri grabs her by the gun and pushes her back into the wall. They smash right through and fall down to the next room over. Sonicon grabs Kiri to lift him up and violently throws him down through the structure below. She follows in pursuit, and before Kiri has a chance to compose himself, she smashes and pins his head down with her foot. With Kiri temporarily neutralized, she takes aim at the village. The sound of the graviton beam emitter charging fills Kiri with dread. Sonicon blasts straight into the village district, taking lives and carving a giant hole straight out to the edge of the structure and beyond. Explosions and flying bodies follow the shot. Without hesitation, she charges and lets off two more shots. Anything surrounding the beam is instantly disintegrated. Sonicon continues with a volley of additional shots, turning the surrounding landscape into rubble. Dozens of innocent bystanders are caught in the destruction and fall to their deaths. All that's left is a scene of hellfire, shown beautifully in a two-page spread. Some electrofisher warriors of the village aim down on Sonicon, but she notices immediately and turns to fire. Kiri snaps off Sonicon's foot at the ankle, temporarily distracting her. Sutozo uses the moment to fire off his rail rifle. The shot stabs to the middle of Sonicon's graviton beam emitter. Sonicon can only look in amazement as the gun and her arm along with it are blown to smithereens. The electrofisher sees the moment and swarm towards Sonicon. They shoot off a couple of rail rifle shots, piercing Sonicon's chest as she becomes off balance. The barrage continues as the remaining warriors all fire simultaneously. Full of holes and seemingly defeated, Sonicon calls out Kiri's name. He seems confused of what she wants from him. A final shot rings out, and Sonicon's forehead is pierced all the way through to the back. The strike promptly causes Sonicon to fall to the ground. Kiri scans her head for further information on her true status, while Sutozo smartly says they should continue by firing everything they've got left at Sonicon's head. The surviving villagers look on in anticipation to the end of their struggle. Kiri leaves the warriors to their bidding while he searches out his own graviton beam emitter. 
Shot after shot of rail rifle fire falls down upon Sonicon's face, turning the entirety of her head into an unrecognizable mess. Kiri leaps for his gun while the ground around Sonicon's body begins to reformat, causing the electrofishers to look on in fear. Out of nowhere, hundreds of strands shoot out of Sonicon, annihilating everything in their path. Kiri looks back to see Sutazo's head spliced off as Zuru calls out to him in his dying moment. Sonicon emerges with a giant set of wings hovering above a ground of reformatted matter most likely used for her transformation. She spreads them out and ascends while looking similar to a giant humanoid butterfly. She calls out to Kiri once more as he looks up in anticipation. Nothing other than your functions were restored? She asks. Ignoring the question, Kiri finally makes it to his gun, but before he can turn around and use it, Sonicon has already flown away at high speed. Kiri scans to see if a long-range shot is viable, but it is no use. He's left surrounded by a sea of flames as Sibo stands in the distance, speechless of the events that have just taken place. Truly frightening stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and comment on what your favorite action scenes are and what you thought about the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep hearing me talk about manga. Alright, take it easy everyone, and stay Toha Heavy Tough. Peace.